All right. Well, hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Whenever it is you are watching this and welcome back, everyone. I hope that you all had a safe, uh, relaxing, good spring break. Um, despite everything that may be going on, um, hopefully you were able to take some time off last week and just relax, breathe. <laughs> um, I know that's what I did a lot of. Um, We've got a lot going on right now, guys. So first and foremost, hey, I hope you all are doing well. Truly, honestly, um, I am missing the day-to-day -day routine, uh, the being home, being quarantined. Definitely not my cup of tea, um, but just wanna reach out, make sure that everybody is doing okay. Um, Starting off, guys, if there are any questions, if there are any concerns, or if you just want to reach out and say, hey, by all means, feel free to. Um, I'm here. I'm here to talk. I'm here to listen. Um, do the best I can to help you navigate whatever it is you may have going on. So we are back, as I said, from spring break. Um, it is April 20th. And as you know, or in case you don't know, here's your reminder. We have no updates and we are still expected to be on um, distance learning until May 15th. Um, so we've got about four more weeks of this, guys. Um, and that's if nothing changes. Um, but in the event that something changes, it will likely extend to the end of our school year officially. Um, and we will deal with that if and when it gets here. So for the time being, we're just going to keep on working the way that we have been since we've been out. Um, prior to spring break. It's been a little over a month now. So as always, this is your weekly introduction video and I will continue to post these weekly videos each Monday and then throughout each week continuing, I'll upload any additional videos as needed to lecture on content, whether that content be common lit assignments or projects or worksheets that I need you to get done. Just anything and everything we need to do. Um, so students should be checking Canvas daily, checking their calendar for their upcoming assignments. Um, so you can hit the calendar feature here and it'll take you to, I don't wanna ruin this on mine. Okay, cool. So it'll take you to something that looks like this. You guys will possibly be showing all of your courses here so you can see upcoming due dates, assignments, when things are gonna need to be turned in. Um, you can see that you have a common lit due on Tuesday, and a common lit due on Thursday, common lit due next Tuesday, and then by next Friday, we're gonna finish this unit. Um, I'm currently on standard. Um, so of course, English one um, honors, you'll have different texts listed here, but the due dates are the same for your work. Okay, so then let's go back to our home Canvas page. Your to-do list on the right-hand side of the screen, everything you've got upcoming, um, things that you need to make sure get turned in. I'm trying to exit some stuff so you don't see things that are unnecessary. Um, but here it is. So students should be on Canvas daily, check their calendar, check your upcoming assignments list, make sure you're on track with your work. I am uploading items to the modules that are labeled for each week. Um, so we are on April 20th through 24th. You've got your notes here your common lit passages that are due this week. So I'll add to this particular module, the video link for this particular video. And then once you get inside the notes, um, just like we did prior to spring break, I'll add the video lectures to each of your common lits. So that's where everything is that you need to find and you need to know about. So for the weeks of April 20th and April 27th, you can see both of those have already been posted for you. Um, I'm gonna be working on going over nonfiction texts with you. We're gonna keep working that thieves approach that we were doing prior to spring break. So the way of breaking down informational passages, um, we've got one, two, three common lists to do over the next two weeks. So we'll do that thieves approach some more. Um, We'll work on incorporating the literary terms back into the passages, things of that nature. Um, at the very least, the video lectures will be posted the same day that the common lit assignment is due. So the Amelia Earnhardt um, video will probably go up tomorrow morning. President Kennedy's inaugural address will go up on Thursday morning. 
And again, honors, your passages are different titles, um, but the same rule applies. Your video will go up the day that the common lit passages do. Um, so you can, of course, wait for that video to be posted. Um, however, you know your schedule. If you need to get it done prior to, get it done prior to. Um, I'm also gonna continue adding video lectures that relate to the nonfiction unit project, which is a research paper. So prior to spring break, you all should have done this, turn in your thesis statement. Um, when you click on that, you can go back to that particular assignment and you'll see the feedback I left for you about your thesis statement. Um, and we're just gonna move forward step by step, turning things in, you'll get feedback from me and we'll continue working. Um, guys, just please make sure that you are watching these videos, um, not just this weekly video, but when you go into your nonfiction notes, um, and we get down here to writing a research paper, there's a video lecture, and the video lectures will be continued to add it to this slide. Make sure you watch those video lectures because it's really gonna help you out with writing that research paper, providing some insight. Um, and we'll just keep moving forward. So before we get off here today, I've got a few more reminders for you. Um, given the circumstances of distance learning, I wanna be clear about the expectations for this class. This is just going to be English one, English one standard, English one honors. As far as grading is concerned and how I am handling it, um, students are expected to continue working and completing all assignments to the best of their ability. I have selected, and some of you may have noticed this by now, the do not count towards final grade option for all of your assignments. And I did this so that no student is being negatively impacted by your work that you are doing, okay? So let's say um, that you're completing a common lit, but you've got a really low score on it. I don't want your overall grade to fall um, because maybe you're missing out on some lecture that could have been beneficial to you. However, this does not mean that the grades don't matter and that the work doesn't matter and that you can just stop doing anything because I'm not counting it towards your final grade. Um, because da, 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 in the event that these assignments will factor into your final grades, you'll want to be sure that you have done your best. Um, so what this means is when a decision is made about grading and reporting final grades onto transcripts, report cards, whatever the case may be, um, in the event that distance learning is um, used and fully approved and we are moving forward with grades that you are receiving, the last thing you'll want is to have a bunch of zeros write up because you didn't do your work um, and you also don't wanna just rush through assignments for the sake of having it done. Pay attention, take your time. Um, in the event that these grades do factor in and count, um, you wanna make sure that they are as high as they can possibly be. So when that decision's made, I will definitely let you know, um, but for right now, you are being graded, the grades are going in, they are just not factoring into your final average. So your grade's not gonna change, it's not gonna move. Um, but in the case that I unclick the do not count towards final grade option, um, you'll wanna make sure that you did the best you could on those assignments, okay? So also as a reminder, um, I noticed this happened with some of the quizzes. Uh, Guys, with my quizzes and my tests, you are not allowed to use outside materials and resources. So some of you, when you look back on your quiz, you're gonna see that I added a comment that you left the page, you left the quiz page, um, and therefore your quiz is invalid. What this means is when you take your quiz on Canvas, Canvas logs anytime you leave the test page. Um, so if I see that you're leaving the test page in the middle of the quiz or test, I'm going to have to give you a zero and I'm not going to be able to actually score your quiz, if that makes sense. Um, the tests are built with the passages in and you won't be penalized for accessing the passage because it's built into the test. Um, but anytime you leave the test and you open up a new tab, 
I'm going to be able to see it and it's going to nullify your quiz or your test results. Okay. So do the best you can. Make sure that you are not accessing outside sources or materials um, unless they are already posted inside the test or quiz. And I think that's it for today. Um, as always, I'm here if you have questions or if you just need to talk, if you've got concerns about anything, please let me know. Um, and we'll just move right along tomorrow and in through the rest of the week, getting your common lits done and working on your nonfiction research paper. Um, so welcome back again and let's finish this semester strong. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.